Hey y'all, I'm George Slepic, and uh, I want to give a quick lesson here on uh, how to use brushes. I've got some uh, Vader wiretap wood handle brushes, my favorite ones from Vader. Uh, they got a wood handle on them, so you can get side stick. Uh, you can turn them upside down and and uh, ride on your rod symbol with them. But they're just really wonderful. They're very durable. They're fanned out perfectly. Um, get you a pair. Vader wiretap wood handle brushes. So on with the lesson. Um, this pattern, there are many different patterns, and the thing that's really beautiful about when you start using brushes is it's a very individual art and no two brush players sound the same or look the same uh, you can teach a hundred people one pattern and you will have a hundred different variations of it although subtle everyone will have their own thing so it's really wonderful and I love playing with brushes uh, I want to give a shout out to my really good friend and mentor, Michael Cherry, who was the first person that ever introduced me to brushes and taught me how to use them. Um, Michael lives in Missouri and plays in a wonderful trio called the Bel Airs. Uh, if you're hip to Michael and you know what's up, good for you. If you don't, please check him out. He's a wonderful player. Um, Ed Thigpen, obviously, was a huge hero of mine. Uh, wonderful brush player. Uh, Philly Joe Jones, uh, Elvin Jones, of course, uh, Clayton Cameron is is a fantastic uh, brush player and has a beautiful uh, 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 video out called The Living Art of Brushes uh, that you might want to check out. It's very educational and I learned a lot from watching that video. Anyway, here we go. So this is the pattern I'm going to show you. With the right hand, with the left hand, can you feel how that's pulsing? One, two, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. So you're making a circle and you're going clockwise with the circle with your left hand. Obviously, if you're left handed, then flip it around. I'm right handed. So with my left hand, I'm making a circle. Not a very big circle. And it's almost egg shaped. I'm using traditional grip, but you can also use matched grip. When Michael was teaching me how to use brushes, he taught me with traditional grip, and I've always used traditional grip with brushes. For me, it just feels better. So my hand is moving like this, right? When they use the expression stirring the soup, if you can imagine yourself standing over uh, a hot stove with a giant pot in front of you and some spaghetti sauce, some homemade soup or stew or chili, and you've got a giant ladle in your hand and you're going around the, you're going around the top of that pot, stirring that soup. It's the same motion. It's going to feel very awkward the first time you do it and it will feel awkward for a minute maybe a couple of days but I guarantee you 
Just a little bit of practice every day. Spend 10, 15, 20 minutes on this. Within a couple of days, it will start to feel way more natural. Okay, so that's the left hand. Again, with the right. piece of music right now, the Ahmad Jamal Trio. The song's called Moonlight in Vermont and it features Mr. Vernell Fournier on brushes. And uh, check it out. Hope you enjoy. Uh, and everybody stay safe. Peace. Thank you. 